Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boars with the Mike Boars channel. Thank you for watching. In the event that you have a loft access door in the ceiling portion of your garage and the pull chain or rope snap, we're gonna show you how to fix it. Let's go outside and take a look. All right, DIYers outside in the garage now and on the ceiling is our access point for our upper loft. You can see that little white rope hanging. Unfortunately, it has snapped. And really two things can cause this. Number one, the rope itself weakens over the years and just gives way. In our case, that's what happened. A second option, in the event that you have a latch or lock, you wanna make sure that is unlocked prior to pulling on that rope. Because obviously if it's locked and you're pulling on that rope, it is not going to open and you're going to snap your rope. So let's go grab a ladder and see what we're dealing with. At this point, ladder is in place. Be extra careful when you're climbing the ladder. Last thing you wanna do is fall during the project and hurt yourself. That would not be good. Let's head up. Up on the ladder now and I've grabbed some pliers. I'm going to go up about three inches and grab that rope as opposed to down here. This is the weak point. That's what snapped. Go up about three inches and I'm going to carefully pull this door open. And I'll push down. Down off the ladder now, and I want to show you in reference to the part we just pulled down. On the back side, you can see the washer and rope. And you can basically pull this all the way out. Let's go grab a new rope. All right, DIYers, back from the store, we purchased a solid nylon cord with a handle. And I know it goes to a starter for a lawnmower or a snowblower. However, it should be compatible and work perfect. At the workstation now on the left-hand side, new rope, new handle. On the back of your packaging are your instructions. Here's my old snap rope. I've got a tape measure. Step number one, measure old cord and allow six inches for knotting. Unfortunately, we don't have the opposite end. Hopefully you do. Measure your two ropes, both the snap portion that is secured with the washer and the opposite end that has your handle. And you want to cut the new rope to that exact same measurement. However, unfortunately, again, we do not have the other end. We're gonna use our tape measure and head back to the ceiling and measure arm's length, basically three feet down. And it's also important to purchase the proper size rope because in the event that you purchase a rope that's too thick, you'll either have to drill the hole larger or go back to the store and get a new rope. I have measured 36 inches from the ceiling, minus six for the knotting. That's going to give me 30 inches and that is perfect arm length for our rope. Cord is cut, 36 inches. And what we will do now, we are going to feed that cord through the upper portion of our handle all the way through and we're going to tie a knot that will ultimately secure this end of the rope to the inner portion of the handle. Be patient as you feed the rope through the handle. I did have to squeeze this tip to shape it better to get through and pull this all the way through. Again, we are going to tie a knot at the opposite end. For the next step, I'm going to heat seal it with my Craftsman heat gun. You got a couple different options. You can use a torch. However, that's what we are using. That worked out very well. Back at the workstation, quick update. I tied one additional knot and you just pull that in and that will be a solid secured rope to the handle. And the next steps in the instructions on the packaging will not apply to us because we are not installing this on a lawnmower. Back to the door and we are going to feed the opposite end through the hole. And again, just be patient as you feed this through. And that went right through and we will carefully pull it all the way down. And on the opposite end, there we go. Let's go grab the washer. Go and slide the rope through the washer and we will now make two knots and heat seal this end of the rope. Making progress, two knots are tied, heat sealed, and to the opposite end, we're going to carefully pull this through and we are going to properly seat that washer in place, as you can see here. And what we're going to do is push the door up and test it. And that is a perfect length for us. As you can see here, carefully pull down. And that is a successful completed DIY project. Hopefully this helps. Hey, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.